at any point while working inside of the SI5 text interface, uh, you can choose to close this and then go create a Visio project file for this project. Uh, so that's what I'll do. I'll save this text project. I'll close it. And uh, we're still back here. Notice on the Selected Project Details tab uh, for this project. Um, you can see that there's a dollar value over here now since we've added products. And down here in the Project Files section, I'm going to choose New Visio Drawing. And in this example, I'm going to pick the 24 by 36 template. Uh, this is just an indication of what the page sizes will be in Visio. And uh, I'm going to rename this the same name as the project and choose OK. And you'll see that the Visio project file now lists uh, down here. If you double click this, it's going to launch in the Visio interface. And this is the Visio interface. Um, over here on the left hand side, there is a uh, product explorer, which is a list of your, uh, the products in your database. Uh, down here is your bill of materials, what we call the project data matrix. And you can expand uh, any one of these sub windows um, to see more of the list. And uh, this functionality here is just like in the text interface. You have your Add Product button. You can add packages here uh, to your bill of materials. And um, then the, the whole goal here would be to drag over the products that you like to the, the various uh, page types in Visio. And uh, we have different page types down here. There's a cover sheet, um, which isn't really intended for any of our shapes. Uh, you could put you know, project information on this. Um, insert a picture of the client's house if you want to or the building that you're working on. Uh, it's just that, a cover sheet. Uh, then we have a line diagram, elevation page, plan view, and schematic view page. Those are the four page types that we have in SI5. We've created specific shapes uh, in our uh, shapes library that you can, again, drag from over here and it'll drop an appropriate shape based on the page type. Uh, there's also a background title page here which uh, contains this frame that you see around this. All the other pages are linked to that background title page. Uh, what we've also added in this interface is a details menu right here along with all of your stock uh, Visio menus. And this is very similar to the text interface. You've got your project information, uh, your project options here that contain you know, the, the phase rates and your taxes. You can run reports directly from this interface as well. Um, there is, however, another interface over here that you can choose to show if you'd like. Uh, under the view menu, it's called the stencil tree. And this is the stencil tree is a list of all the... Um, categories that we have in SI5, and each of those categories have specific shapes built for them. I'll expand this for you now, and you can see here a list of categories, and uh, you know in this one, uh, the amplifiers, you can expand the list, and you'll see a list of the, the names of uh, the shapes that are in here. Uh, you can also right-click and display this to see icon representations down here in this shapes window that opens for the shapes. Now, um, you can drag and drop from here over to page types, um, but in the beginning you may not want to do that. You can let the software put the default shape on there, and then over time you'll decide whether you like the default shape and you may want to change it at another time. But primarily, you would want to add your products here to the uh, project data matrix and then drag from here over to the different page types.